So you might be asking, well, well, how does this work? Why does this happen? And again, I'm no neuroscientist, but I've done a lot of thinking. I've done a lot of sort of observation of myself around the concept of dopamine. Dopamine, of course, being the neurotransmitter that exists in our nervous system that it has to do with the way we pursue goal-oriented behavior and reward. So, you know, if you're partaking in something like smoking cigarettes, eating chocolate, having looking at even exercising, even things that are we would consider positive, the body finds that for whatever reason, this is a good thing. We should repeat this and we get that flow of dopamine and now we become conditioned to pursue that feeling. We know that this is a rewarding behavior. It must be good for me. It feels good at least. Now I'm going to pursue it. But when we talk about some of those bad habits like using social media too much, looking at drugs, alcohol, promiscuity, gant, like, hey, take a moment and appraise your own life for a minute. There's certainly things that you're doing that distract and, and medicate and regulate that you know probably aren't the most healthy things to do. But you still get that very quick, thrilling, easy rush of dopamine from doing those. But when we begin to pursue these larger blocks of time with more focus, we also get a release of dopamine. I would argue that it's a, at least for me, a healthier more sustained, longer lasting rush of dopamine.